My name is Lamont McCain, and I love J. Ross TV. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy J. Ross hanging out with my dog from way back, y'all. Yeah. Lamont McCain, bass player extraordinaire in town, hitting with Anthony Hamilton. Matter of fact, he the MD, y'all. So, but, but you know what I'm saying, that month? What makes a good MD, bro? A good MD makes a person that is a good follower. In order to be a good flop, fo uh, a good leader, you got to be a good follower. You can't you can't lead anything unless you unless you know how to follow. But the thing that makes a good leader is you lead by example. And now what I find out as being a, a good MD, a good leader, is that it's just like having a team, and you got all kind of personalities. Everybody Man. got a different type of personality. So my thing is as for an MD, what do I got to do to get the best out of you? Yeah. You see what I mean? So it's almost like coaching a team. That's the thing that I've learned with it. And you can't just do it. Everybody have a, a different type of personality. So some people you might have to talk a little harsh to, but the next person might not can't take that. You right. see what I mean? So if I could talk harsh to you to get the best out of you, not in a way of I want to talk harsh, but in a way of love. This is all about love. Yeah, no disrespect. The, right, it's all about love. It's all about love. If I got to come and check you, I'm only checking you because I love you. Yeah. Because I care about you, because I want the best for you. In some situations, I might cannot check you. I might even, sometimes might not even have to say nothing. I can't say nothing, but it's about getting the best out of all the people on your team. But you do it first by being an example. But as, that example is God and that's love. Yes, but as a music director though, Mont, what happens, man, when you got to fire somebody, man? Is that what kind of pain is that on? Well, them? well, this is the thing, when, when it comes down, when it comes down to, you know, firing somebody, I'm not in charge of hiring or firing. Only thing that I can do is recommend, you right. know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I'm here to keep everything together. It's Anthony's job to hire and to fire. But me, as far as like hiring him, you know, when it comes down to that, or I might know something or, you know, I'm a type of person, Ross, that I care about people. Right. And I can't help that. You know what I mean? Even if you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing, I still care. You understand what I mean? So when I see certain things, and sometimes when it comes down to certain things, sometimes it's just like they can't want to make a change. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And sometimes that's a hard thing, you know, a hard place to be. But what I try to do, I, I reach out to people. I talk, try to talk to people, you know what I mean? And check and see how they doing, you know? You got some that will respond, some that won't, you know? And I get it, because you could be in your feelings. But my thing at the end of the day, it's all about caring. So guess what? In the process of it, even if you're not here, you know what I mean? I'm gonna call you and see if you're okay. Right. Call you to check up on you, see if you know what I mean? And, and that's very that's very tough, just not even with music in any type of, any type of industry. Just life. You know I mean? Yeah, and sometimes, you know what I mean? I, I can't say, if that is, you know, as hiring and firing people in certain, certain situations are justified, you know what I mean? In certain, they're, they're not, but that's just the nature of this business. Sometimes it's not nothing that you've done, you know what I mean? It's, you know, it's just like they're just ready to, you know, do something different. Do something different, go another direction. Yeah. So my thing, when I look at it too, you know, why you out here, you know, appreciate the time that you got out here. Do the the, the, the the best that you can do at your job and your position. And you know, and try to put out good energy and positive, you know, energy. I always feel like when you put out positive, guess what comes back to you? Positive. You yes, put sir. out negative, guess what comes back to you? Negative. And, and this starts, when I look at it, Ross, this starts with everything that you do. Even how you prepare yourself, even even how you study your, you know, your craft, how you deal with people, it all starts with first your character. Awesome. Everything else is secondary. Like if your if your character is the right way, guess what? When you care about people, guess what that means? You're gonna be on time. When you care about people, that means you're gonna do your homework and study your things. Nobody ain't gotta tell you when you know what I mean. So it's about first getting that character together. You know what I mean? Getting your foundation right and built right, and the rest of it. It, you know what I mean? It, it, so, uh, so all that that falls up under like when you say they want to make a change, and you know it's coming upon you to go look. So you're looking at a person's professionalism. So would you normally deal with people you've dealt with in the past, or do you look for new people? How do you bring new blood in? But my, my thing is this here: when, when it comes down to bringing new blood in, you know, my thing is always I look at this here. You know, first of all, I look at the character of a person. Okay, you can have cats that have got skill all day. I mean, they could be there, but guess what? They're hard to get along with. Right. Nobody don't like them, they got attitude problems. Yeah. And, that. and even that, you know what? Yeah, we can deal with that, you know what I mean? But if I see that, guess what? We can't change that or bring the best, you know what I mean? Because it's all about this here. We become a family, even if you don't want to. Like we out here touring, guess what? 
you got to go certain places together, travel on the bus together, do so. It's all about family. So I try to, first, I look at character. Yes, you got to have the skill and the talent. You just can't, you know, but you have to have the right character. The thing for me, it's like, if I recommend somebody, I don't want to bring anybody around Anthony that is... They, they got a funky, you know what I mean? The character's funky, you know what I mean? So I look at that, that that's, the, that's the first thing. Then now, are you available to do the gig? Of course, yes, do you have the skill to do the to, to do this here because you have to have a certain type of skill set. So when I look at pick people, that I, I pick those type of people, people that are gonna be dedicated, people that are gonna buy into the vision. And sometimes, guess what, Ross? The vision sometimes might not always be clear you know what I mean like okay yeah we have some type of blueprint on what we want to do but the biggest vision of what you know for me and what I'm trying to trying to promote is the character of love you know what I mean the character of God not saying that we are perfect people right. you know what I mean but we want to make sure that we have the right part and understand that why are we out here we're out here to promote God's love. That's through music, that's through if you sing, watch this here, even what you do, it's right. like, it's about promoting love. You know what I mean? There's two sides. There's positive, there's negative. There's good and evil. So now my thing is like, what side you want to rock with? You know what I mean? If you want to rock with the positive and you want to rock with the God and the good side, then listen. Let's do this here, you know? Yeah, so my, like, cats, man, they, they see you on stage, man, they see y'all banging, man, and they want to get, you know, one day they want to make it to the main stage. Would you give them any kind of advice to kind of prepare for it as they coming up? You know, what what can they be doing, man? Working on character, of course, working on your skills, but is there anything else that they can work on that you would, just say you as an MD would say, hey, I like that guy, you know? My thing is, I think that, that what you, that, first thing is you have to love what you do. Because I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with this, the end of the industry, you know what I mean? It's, it's really, it's really doggy, you could get doggy, doggy at times, it's cutthroat, it's very, net. you know what I mean? This is the entertainment business, I'm not saying every entertainer is like that, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm using this as a broad, you know, spectrum when I say this here. There's a lot that go with it. The first thing that I say is love what you do. Like I've seen cats that have came out here and 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 things didn't go the way they thought it should have went. You know what I mean? Give me an example if you can, without like, without calling anybody out. I, like for example, here it is. We were out here. We out here touring. We are out here touring. And we're doing all this here, and I think we're gonna go to the next degree, and we're gonna be making all this money, and we'll be doing that. And guess what? Sometimes that don't happen. Right. Sometimes, like like to be for real. Sometimes that guess what? Everything that you, what you see always is not really what it is. You understand what I'm saying? Perception is reality. Yeah. A lot of times you have a lot of musicians that's out here that's guess what? Suffer. Yeah, you know, you can make money, a lot of money real quick, but now when there is no gigs or there's no, you know what I mean, what are you gonna do? You still got a mortgage to pay. Do you have health insurance? Do you have life insurance? You see what I mean? Do you have money put away? Just say when you get older and uh, you know some type of pension plan. Like it's not all what people think it is. There was something that Marcus Miller said that I saw years and years ago on an interview. I don't know if you interviewed them or somebody. Oh, it was Jay Ross TV, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so he was like, "What we do, we make a lot. We can make a lot of money." Real, real quick, you know what I mean? But he, he said that you have to live like almost beneath your means, almost like you don't have all. I remember that interview. You gotta put that money away, and you know what I mean? And that was something, when I heard Marcus said that, that really stuck with me. So when I try to tell Cassie, it's like, yo, you get this here money, put that money away. Listen, don't be, I'm not saying don't buy nothing, but guess what? You know, you buying these sneakers, you out here tricking on these chicks, you know, all this here, you know, you wanna be slapping down and women and looking all, you know what I mean? You gotta you got be smart at what, 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 what you, what you do. So that's that's what I try to instill, you know what I mean? I try to, you know, tell cats like, yo, sometimes the music game might be like, okay, you're not touring, you're not making money like this here. So I, I always believe this here, you gotta have more than one stream of income. Yeah. Find something else to do. It might not be music, you know what I mean? Right. You know, you might gotta work a, a, a regular a job. I don't, I don't know, you know what I mean? And this is a thing that people have to learn. Everybody's destiny is not the same. The next thing that I, I would say too out here, if I could give some advice too, is to celebrate the success of other people. A lot of times us as black people, we have a, a problem with that, you know what I mean? So we need to learn how to celebrate Celebrate, encourage, and guess what? You don't know when it's gonna be your turn. You Thank you, I mean? Lord. Yes, sir. It could be your turn. A lot of times we don't get where we need to be because we so quick to jump in the way and say, it's my turn and I should be doing it. Nah, what you're supposed to be doing is just sitting in the back, applauding, 
cheering, support, and doing everything that you can do. So when it's your turn, because this is what I do believe, what we all sow, it goes for everybody. We will reap. You know what I mean? So if you sow with those type of seeds, then guess what? When it's your season, you ain't got no choice but to reap it. Hey, that's my child. He just said a mouth full up in his mug. But I know he got to bounce. They got a four o'clock call, y'all, so I ain't going to hold him long. Yeah, and you're going to take me to the arena. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my dude, my mama, you okay, your boy, Jay Ross. We 15 million, 100,000 strong, y'all, and then we gone. Peace. Peace.